Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of kings and Lord of lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard for truth. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, I trust this finds you feeling bright and blessed, crispy and fresh this morning in the spirit of the Almighty. Now, today is September the 20th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, our text this morning is going to come from Matthew chapter 18, Mark chapter 9, and Luke chapter 9. And we're going to talk about a story, but I want to point out a couple elements of this story that we might often overlook. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus when he was in the house saying, who then is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So it's upon the heart of the disciples to be first, to be recognized, to be appreciated, to be honored. Now they continue this conversation in private while they're walking down the road. And so it says, Jesus asked them, what was it that you disputed among yourselves on the road? As if he doesn't know, right? But here's what's interesting. They kept silent, for on the road they had disputed among themselves who would be the greatest. Isn't that characteristic of human nature to talk about more openly in private what we would keep quiet in the presence of those that whom we were talking about was really all about? And so there's a sense of shame here among the disciples when Jesus asked them, what was it you were on the road talking about? But they kept silent. They didn't want to admit to Jesus that they were quabbling over this issue of who would be greatest because they knew that Jesus would not approve of such conversation. It's not about who will be greatest, but it's who will be the best servant. And so they keep silent. That's why gossip is so damaging because we talk so openly behind others' backs when we would never say those things if they were there present. And yet our conversation should always be as if they were present. Then we might put a guard upon our tongues. And so Jesus, knowing their hearts, it doesn't matter what comes out of their mouth, he knows their hearts, that their hearts are wrong because they're seeking such recognition. And so it says he sat down. He called the twelve unto him, and he said to them, If anyone desires to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. Now look at the grace here. Jesus doesn't point the individuals out. He doesn't openly rebuke them or chastise them or beat them up. But he calls all the disciples unto him, and he begins a training session with his lambs. Lambs are very tender. They're not lions. They're lambs. And Jesus understands that. And he treats them very delicately and sensitively. And so he says, if anyone desires to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. Then he, perceiving the thought of their heart, took a little child as a visual example. And he set the child by him in the midst of the 12 disciples. And when he had taken the child in his arms, he looked at the disciples and said, Surely, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. In other words, you must become humble like that of a child. You must quit arguing over such petty matters. And become as a little child simply doing what his parents tell him to do. And so Jesus, as a loving parent, is telling his disciples, he's telling you and I what to do. And it's not to seek recognition, but to seek how we may serve at the greatest point, at the lowest level. He continues by saying, Therefore, whoever humbles himself as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. It's not you who do the greatest deeds, who perform the greatest acts. It's he who becomes the most humble. The greatest servant will be the greatest in heaven. Whoever receives one little child like this in my name 
receives me. And whoever receives me receives not me, but the Father who sent me. For he who is least among you all will be great. Now, friends, this is the great battle between the flesh and the spirit. Because the flesh seeks recognition, seeks promotion, seeks adoration. But Jesus says, I want you to become the servant of all. And there's a deeper meaning behind this because the servant doesn't deserve recognition, adoration. It's the master who deserves such recognition and adoration. And so everything we do is to shine a light upon Jesus and what he has done, what he is doing, and what he will continue to do for us, his people. Now, I don't know how this is speaking to you this morning. I don't know what place in your life. Maybe you're guilty of gossip. Maybe you're in a battle with someone at work because you want to receive the honor in a certain matter, and yet it's someone else. Maybe it's a family member. You see, from this attitude stems jealousy because we're not content with who we are, where God has placed us in life how he has created us, and we want to be like someone else. We want to be better than someone else. And friends, Jesus says that is an evil heart. And so we must go before the Father and say, teach me humility and be prepared for the lessons that will come from such a prayer because he will truly teach you humility. You see, another word identifying humility is humiliation. Are you comfortable being humiliated by others? Does that cause resentment, jealousy, bitterness, anger, hate in your heart? Well, friends, if you're a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, you need to get used to humiliation. They humiliated him and they will humiliate us. And in that humiliation, we should count it such joy to be in the same shoes in a small way that our Savior walked in. Well, as I said, I'm not sure how this is speaking to you this morning, but I know that it is speaking to you because I know the work of the Holy Spirit. And I pray that as the Lord shines a light through your heart and reveals certain matters unto you, that you will go to him in brokenness and humility, confessing that sin and receiving his forgiveness. Well, I love you, friends. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video.